Hi folks, this short video is just going to go over some details on this tally sheet. It's not an official sheet, so if you have any ideas to make it a little easier, just let me know. I'm always open to making some changes, but as the sheet stands, we have site, let's just call it site number one for now. Remember the plot size at 5.64 meter length. Rope is a radius, and when you make that a full circle, the area is uh, 100 square meters. That works out to some good math for, later, for us later on, so that's why we use that 100 square meters as a reference. Stratum layer is here, and I wanted to count everything that's in the overstory, um, which tells us what the present forest looks like. That also will tell us the, about the past, how that forest came into existence. As you're going along, let's make up these as the A's. Let's say we get down into the next stratum layer, B, and I don't know, maybe that's the understory, maybe that's a mid canopy layer, but that tells us about the, the future of the forest, what it's going to turn into down the road, because that's essentially the understory, what's waiting in the wings to begin to grow. So let's just say a species, we've got some sugar maple and some white pine in our overstory, and then in our tally, there is a handy method for doing this, but um, Word is not going to cooperate with me, so I'm just going to make something up and say, let's say it was... Oh, I don't know, 60, 60 trees that we counted, and that's you're not going to get, sorry, that's not reasonable, six trees, sounds a little better, think Tom, uh, and let's say we had three white pine, and then, for good measure, we'll throw in a poplar, okay, and just say it's one, I don't know, something like that. Anyways, um, there may be a bunch of other species as well, it's not uncommon to have a whole bunch, let's say there's um, black cherry in there, there was one or something like that. Um, what we're looking at from this list is what is representative of the forest and what are the major working group species, which is more of a forestry related thing, what the, the dominant trees are in that forest. But anyway, I just want to get at what are the most major species that we'll find there. Okay, and then you'll keep going down here. Let's finish our chart A, A. Okay, fill in the shade tolerance. The purpose of shade tolerance um, is to just give us a sense on, um, you know, w why are they in the, the stratum areas that they are and, and what's their tolerance to surviving there. Average life count ratio, that is how much foliage is present on the tree from top to bottom. Okay, the percentage, picture a Christmas tree, you've got foliage top to bottom, that's 100% life crown ratio. And so the higher the shade tolerance in a shaded area, would explain why there's more foliage on on some species okay and then you would do the same for the bee and in whatnot okay um, scrolling over to this next page um, what I'm looking at here now is on site one that we just looked at within the the a layer what is the total SPH which is stems per hectare so within the a we have six nine ten eleven trees all together that we counted within our 100 meter plot okay since there are um, 10,000 square meters in a hectare we take this number 11 and times it by 100 100 times 100 square meters um, 100 square meters times 100 equals 10,000 so that's what gives us the number so essentially what my confusing jargon means is 6 9 10 11 times 100 tells us that there are 1100 stems per hectare okay and that's what that would tell us and essentially what we're looking for here is on that is going to be an indicator for you because on some forest types um, let's say stand initiation stems per hectare in the understory understory is probably going to be very high right and so you can use that information there whereas on say stem exclusion you should have a very low understory 
stems per hectare. So it's just another tool that you can use when you're trying to determine what stage of succession is that in. Look at the stems per hectare. It's all going to be drastically different in the different canopy layers. Okay, so that's why I want you to really separate out the canopy layers. And basically all four of the sites that we look at, stems per hectare should be drastically different within the different stratum layers because of the forest development. Okay, so that's what I want you to get at in, in that page. This one, yeah, we'll, we'll come back to some of the, the tally stuff, but that's enough to, to explain where you need to get at for now.